So hello, welcome Hector Agla, who is a Mexican filmmaker based in Cancun. Since 2004, he's been known for directing, photography, uh, editing short films, over 40 of them, commercials and music videos. His feature film, Some Be, garnered critical acclaim and awards. And he's also been given conferences and received grants for his work. He is now an established figure of the Mexican film industry. Thank you so much for coming to this platform, Artful Impact. You're our first person who's outside of um, Australia, actually, that we are interviewing. So yeah, I just want to um, ask you a few questions about your sort of journey to filmmaking. How did it all start with filmmaking for you? Well, first of all, thanks for your invitation, Maria. Uh, I'm very glad to be here and can share with you. And uh, uh, before we start, I want to apologize me for my bad English, but I'm going to try to do my best. And well, uh, I start in the film industry. Well, not in film industry, but I start uh, with the cameras world uh, at uh, 13 years when before the cameras I start very young to to write and draw comics and that was my first uh, that was my, my, my first time telling uh, stories then at 13 and my mother has this VHS camera and I was on vacation, summer vacation with my friends and we were bored. Then we decided to take the camera. I, I am a huge fan of Back to the Future films. Then we tried to make our Back to the Future version, but <laughs> it didn't work. Uh, then we start to, to tell our own uh, stories. That was my first, uh, the, the, my my first time in the cameras world, That's making fantastic. short films with my friends. That's fantastic. So, how many of those did you do? And then finally, you started to realize this is perhaps something you really enjoy doing like uh, was it a few more short films or did you after one film you decide to go to study more about the craft tell us well uh, my father was a journalist uh, in the tv media and uh, many times i went with him to to help him with the camera mm -hmm. uh, but I, I i said to me this is not to me uh, my passion is to tell uh, stories. Then, when I was in in college, uh, so many times uh, uh, I didn't go to to my classes. I I, I went to, to the film theater to to watch movies. And after watch a movie in the street, I was imagining. It. Uh, watching spots. Oh, this could be a very good location for one scene. And I was imagining. Uh, then I, I knew after that, I knew that I I, I want to dedicate my, my life to this. And I start to to research from workshops, uh, master class. But finally, I, I entered to, to the film school in Mexico City. And after my first short film, we, we had a very good assistance from my class. And, and there I, I told to me, that's what I want to do for the rest of my life. <laughs> that's amazing. Now, your first short film, like, um, what was, how do you describe, like, a film that you would, like, not the films that you made with your friends, but your very first, you know, project? Tell us a little bit about that. At what age and, and yeah. Well, I, I did a lot of exercise uh, with my friends uh, after and during the school. But 
in uh, in the year uh, uh, 2003 I made my, my first serious f short film called Moribundos it's like Dead Alive it's not horror film it's an ex experimental film uh, about well it's a, a crazy film experimental and we sent this short film to, to a contest with no expectations but we had a, a, a fourth place huh. between 63 films and that that was my motivation and that's my, my that that film is what I consider it my first serious short film that's amazing now from short film onto feature length film that's a big jump <laughs> tell yeah. us about your moment of thinking to yourself i'm ready to make a feature film what was that time tell us about the project well, uh, after a lot of short films, I, I got this idea of uh, an, an script that, that I was uh, thinking in a, lot, uh, in a lot of years, uh, but I thought that I, I was not ready. Then I start uh, I don't know, a 10 years career making uh, music videos to perfectionate my, my craft uh, in camera, direction, uh, as a DP, I, I work with a lot of friends doing a, a photography for their films. And in 2017, I, 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 that's the year that I thought that I was ready to, to do this feature film. And this future film is called Zombie. It's a zombie film, but it's not a horror film. It's a, a drama about a guy who is not satisfied with, with himself, with his life. At, at the, uh, he has 30 years in the film and he, he's not happy with his life in, in, at that moment of of her of his life then in the war comes an apocalyptic zombie uh, moment and, and that makes that he made his think about what is what he sacrificed uh, he sacrificed the the his dreams but for the political corrections uh, life and it's, it's about his thoughts about it and well it, this is a, an independent film mm. we we work uh, with a lot of people that help us uh, it was a really really big journey that take us five years to to get it between the, the script the casting and after the distribution it was very hard but we are we are very happy with with all the the all the things that we get Garrett with him with this what was some of the challenges um you would say when it came to your project um, was it in the writing phase or is it in the filming phase uh film production phase or is it in distribution? Tell me more about which of those phases you found quite challenging on your journey. Well, uh, we adopt the, the more challenging that we faced was the fact that this film takes us five years to, to make. Then uh, uh, every year we, we had less budget and we were we were losing uh, crew during these years we every year we we had uh, less people helping us and keep the people together uh, 
trying to to tell a story uh, and with the same passion the the, the fifth year mm -hmm. uh, was was very hard i think that that's where it, that was the the big challenge to to us and well the distribution is is a hard part of this you you know very well this is like well you had five years doing a film then when the distribution uh, comes it is like a start over again uh, but finally we, we get it Right. Now, tell us about, um, like for you, you're distributing it through Film Hub. Like that's a self-distribution platform. Like how come you chose that instead of, let's say, like a sales agent? Like what was your thinking around um, getting your film out there? Well, uh, 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 we we sang with two distributors. We distributed this. Uh, uh, with distribution companies, we mm -hmm. sang with distri two distribution companies, mm -hmm. but it's a slow, a very slow, low process. And then I find in, in YouTube uh, Jason Horton's videos about distribution, independent okay. films. Mm -hmm. And when when I knew about Film Hub, my mass, my mind was blowing. And and I said, wow, I, I can do it this by myself. We are out distribution companies, we are out intermediaries, and I sent the film. It's a, a very hard process because they have a, a very strictly quality controls, uh, and if you don't pass the third the third try in the quality control, you are out. Wow. And you we, got it through on the third? On the second. <laughs> oh, wow. On the second. There, there are, we had in the first one a very, a lot of issues, but in the second try, we do it. They are very kind people in Film Hub. You write it and don't answer a, a robot. It's real people answer you and helping you to, to upload your film. And well, we did it well and after the second try with help of, of one of their agents. And we are very happy. We, we, we have the film in too many uh, platforms. How many platforms is your film now out on? Like, um, like since being on uh, Film Hub, how long have you been on Film Hub and where has it gone? Well, it has been chosen in five platforms, mm -hmm. but uh, we, as I told you, we, we sang first with, with a distribution company and, and this is an obstacle for us because uh, in this contract with the, that distribution, distributor, distribution company, uh, they have the rights to, to the distribution in the U.S. and, and I, the most of, of the platforms want first your, your film in the U.S. Mm -hmm. and after after that they this, they put their film in whole world. Uh, th this is a, a, an obstacle for us because. Uh, we, our film has chosen by five platforms, but actually is is just in one that oh. is relaxed TV. Yeah. So because you've got another distributor, it can't go. Yeah. You have to figure out which um, territories you can go to. Exactly. If that I knew about Film Hub verbs, I never had sang with the distribution companies that's interesting now can i ask um so if anyone wanted to watch um some b where can they go to can you just point them to the platform that can see your film yeah now it's just in it's spain territory mm. uh, in relaxedtv.com Relax that's, that's a uh, an abod platform 
Uh, you don't need a, sub a, subscri a subscription. You yeah. just uh, they put ads every 20 minutes in your mm -hmm. film, mm -hmm. and that's all. Oh. And with the distrib distribution company that we signed first, mm -hmm. uh, they are making the deal and possibly possible this summer is gonna be in the US uh, in uh, the platform is called is it belongs to Lionsgate Films but I, I can't remember the name is I, I, I'm gonna remember the name now. yeah yeah so now that you've finished with Sunbeam what is your next film like are you still got the energy to continue on with what is this tell us well after five years and with somebody we went to 13th international and national film festivals and we won a, a best film award and best makeup and now that we we have a, a, a very good rest now we we got energy to our second film with with all my all the same crew we are now working in in a film production it's a, a second film a second feature called a skate park it's an age coming film about teenage the, the uh, about teenage teenagers That's who made who dedicate their life to uh, skating wow why did you choose this subject matter is it something of your passion or you find that there's a an interesting story from this subject tell us and it's not a horror right it's a, it's a drama it's a drama mm -hmm. correct uh well when i was a kid i, I tried to be a skater but but <laughs> I haven't the, the skills for this. Uh, now my son, he, he, he is making a skateboarding. Uh, he has doing it uh, like four years, and then it 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 uh, it reminds me again this passion, and I go, I talk about a story with my. A teenager experience in the school. Uh, I was <laughs> a not very good a student, uh, and I got a lot of experience. And I tried to to mix it with with the skate world. Amazing. So for you, like if because you're the first person that i've met um when it comes to a filmmaker from mexico now can you tell us a little bit more about the mexican film industry maybe the mainstream but also independent cinema in that country tell us a little bit more about your experience and and seeing the what it's like being in in your country making films well, the, the film industry it, it, it is, it is very well now, but uh, the, the mainstream films are just uh, these comedies uh, with no substance. And they, they have uh, uh, these big budgets that comes from the government here are uh, uh, very good there are a lot of support of, of government uh, to make films in in our institute called imcine but the, the small projects there there are not a lot of support and now with all these uh, with all these new cameras that every time they it has a very good quality and it is is a they are they are very helpful helpful for people like us with small budgets making films micro budgets here the 
films like like mine is is called micro budget film uh, films that cost less than in dollars could be uh, less than than fifty thousand dollars films and in the la the in the last years there there are a lot of people making these micro budget films with the or black magic cameras uh, uh, and and i think that, that there is where is the the interesting and, and the interesting films in in our country the more interesting stories and you just have to to look for them maybe all these films don't get to be screened screened in in these big uh, theaters and complex but now with platforms like film hub they are very helpful and uh, those are tools that for people like us are, are great to get our films in, in and could share it with the world. Fantastic. Now for you, what's maybe a piece of advice for other up and coming filmmakers who want to get involved in making films? What's some of the tips for them to get started? Well, uh... I don't want to sound like a cliche, but uh, just follow your dreams, your passion. Uh, don't uh, don't give up just because a close is door to, to you. Uh, if one close is door to you, there are ten close will be open, and is is just uh, tried uh, and error. It, it's a, it's like a a phrase a phrase like, like, that we say a lot of in Mexico. Uh, mistake and try, mistake and try, and don't give up. And if this is really your, your 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 this is your really passion uh, you're gonna make it don't don't give up follow your dreams awesome thank you so much hector for an amazing interview and then also letting us know what you've been up to as well as what is up in mexico i do wish you all the best thanks